Yo. Hello. Hi, hi, hi. Uh, I don't, I don't think the stream can hear us yet. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> so, uh, if you want to say anything evil, then there's a time to do it because I don't think we're, on, we're live yet. Um, yeah. So, uh, I don't really know what we're gonna be doing as usual. So we'll just, we'll just hang out, draw, talk about shit. We got stuff to talk about, and we'll get James on in a bit. So, sound good? Cool. All right. Uh, okay, gonna make you audible to everyone now. I'll say hello and then just get in with it, okay? Alright, cool. Uh, hello. Oh, the stream is now live, I think. <laughs> if, if you can hear, if you can hear us, say, I can hear you loud and clear, smiling emoji in the, in the chat. And I want five exclamation points on that. Um, <laughs> But yeah, welcome, welcome to my weekly, my nice stream. Um, I'm joined today by, by a, a lovely special guest. Uh, would you like to introduce yourself uh, to, the, to the world, to the four people watching right now? Hello everybody, it's me, George Luke, this director, writer, tellmaker. That's true, yeah. I, uh... I didn't want to spoil the surprise before the stream. I didn't want everyone to know, so, you know. Um, <laughs> yeah, well, today we're here to talk about our comic adaptation of uh, Red Tails that we're doing together. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, he's just joking around. That's not George Lucas at all. That's my friend Devlin at FancyGoblin underscore on Twitter. Um, <laughs> we're, we're here and we're going to draw. We're going to hang out and we're going to chat, hopefully. So, uh... Yeah, uh, I'll turn off the stream starting soon thing, because it started now, I think. Um, cool. Um, so yeah, how's, how's your day been? I mean, what time is it over there for you, Devlin? It's noon, so it's like the middle of the day for me, I guess. <laughs> That's good. It's, uh, it's, it's not that for me, though. It's 5.30 GMT for, for your old pal Tom. It's the evening. Yeah, it's the evening, yeah. I've been, I've been hard at work. I've been um, <laughs> I've been sitting, I've been laughing and playing. I've been, <laughs> I've been sat chilling all day, waiting for my stream. It's actually not true. I um, I did I did some stuff today. Uh, I I drew I drew father father of woman, famous DC character, the uh the Zatanna father. <laughs> Um, oh yeah! I literally did that one second before the stream started because <laughs> I was busy earlier in the day. So, um, so I literally just finished that. I'll post. I didn't want to post that immediately as I announced the stream, so that guy can wait. He's already. <laughs> you'll get it soon. It's fine. Um, mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, we'll do some. We'll do some little doodles. Well, we wait for people to join. How about what would you? What would you like to draw together? I had a, I had two main ideas. Right. Um, one was since I'm American and you're English, Sweet. we could draw each other's like stereotypes. Like I would draw an English stereotype and you would draw an American stereotype. Okay. I like the sound of that. <laughs> I think that's quite good. I um, <laughs> I already have quite a vivid image in my head of what I would like to draw. So. Um, <laughs> All right, let's do it. Yeah, let's let's give that a crack. Um, okay, let's get started now. I, I want to mention real quick that I am I'm streaming. I, I, I changed computers yesterday, so I well, I lost pretty much all of my like stream presets and stuff. Um, that's why the font for Tom's nice stream is in the Simpsons font now because I just had to <laughs> pick a font and I thought you know what I talk about the Simpsons quite a lot on here, so um, that'll do. But yeah, so if, if anything's fucked, blame it on the fact that I've literally just switched switch computers. It's not my fault. Yeah, <laughs> I've quite an image in mind for this, Mr. US of A. I'm sure you've had some time to think about um, Mr. Britain, or at least I hope so. A little bit. I have like yeah. two different kind of people, like the two kinds of, of British people. Oh, right, but okay. I'm not sure which one I want to do. One of them's like really mean. 
don't think I want to do that one. I, I don't feel like that's the normal one. I think I kind of know. I imagine the mean one in my head, and I kind of, I kind of <laughs> want to, I kind of want to see it. But like, if you don't want to do it, you don't have to do it. Um, all right. I think I think I got this. Have you been working on anything interesting this week? Anything anything cool that happened to you this week that you'd like to share? Um, I uh, spent the first half um, doing mostly nothing, I don't think. Right. Nothing uh, very cool. But uh, then, I like the latter half of the week, I uh, got a, a little gig. Um, and so I've been working on that for the week. Yeah, it's been fun. Very cool, very cool. Truth. True. Nice one, mate. I think I think I know that little gig actually. Um, <laughs> I uh, I actually want to mention real quick that I, I spoke to him before the stream, the the gig man, and uh, and said that if if I run out of things to do, I'll probably work on the thing. And he said it's worth we're okay to talk about it. <laughs> so like, um, yeah, we could probably talk about that actually because we're both we're both doing that. Um, <laughs> Yeah, like, uh, we're both involved in, you guys might have seen it around Twitter, the, um, uh, Comics Are Dying anthology, uh, which is like a 100 page history book about American comic publishing over the last 100 years, uh, with each page or each comic done by a different artist, most of them being like one page comics. Um, and yeah, I saw it around i applied i was like hey devlin you might might be something you're interested in and then maybe we've got little little pages in that um yeah he just he basically just the the, the writer just asked like please don't say anyone else like unannounced people don't like announce people that like, haven't been announced <laughs> yet so um but we're cool to talk about it so yeah uh, might might work on that later if if push comes to shove basically um <laughs> Yeah, it's a cool little project. I um really, really interested to see how it comes out because um there's a lot of um a lot of really, really good, really talented people working on it. So what could go wrong, you know? This is true. This is true. There's at least it's two talented people working on it. <laughs> all right. Well, if all ninety-eight others don't really earn up to snuff, we you can count on two pages. You can count on the two pages being. Good. Yeah. Yeah, it is very, uh, cool and <laughs> Yeah, it's a neat little project. Um, <laughs> if you can see the reference I'm using for this, you'd, like, I, I'm literally just, like... I'll, I'll, I mean, you'll, you'll see after I'm done, but, like, um... It's, uh... <laughs> I think mean, you're gonna know the reference immediately, actually. You're probably gonna go, like, is that fucking... I'll go, like, yeah. But, uh... We'll see, we'll see. Kind of looks like the Baron guy from from June at the moment. <laughs> um, <laughs> not based on him, though. My guy looks like he uh, makes really good like Lego content on YouTube. Oh hell yeah! <laughs> a British staple, mate. That's, we love that stuff. like trying my best to make this guy accurate <laughs> but like i feel like no matter what my drawings come out quite british so like um I feel like there's only so american i can make this You seen you seen Dune 2 yet? Is that on your radar? You're you're Dune head or 
Not particularly. It's not. I would say I, I haven't seen it not because I'm broke or or have a it's like too far away or anything. It's actually because I haven't seen any Dune anything not once. Mm. I know nothing about Dune or the Dune expanded research literature. Um, and I'm going to at some point in my life I own Dune like the book. I'm going to read the book before I watch any of the movies so that I can like be the most correct about the movies. You know sure, what I mean? Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah, I tried reading the book before watching the movie, but I I got bored <laughs> and then I didn't finish it. <laughs> I'm, I'm like very illiterate um <laughs> i genuinely this is my big secret shame before last year i hadn't read a book since like high school basically <laughs> um, i'm like really fucking bad um so yeah like I, I tried reading it and i was like what the hell these words are made up and ended up like not finishing it. <laughs> what the fuck is this and then you threw the book away yeah what the the fuck? <laughs> what's the hulk <laughs> i don't get it I uh, just want to say hello, HR Roberts. Thank you for joining. Uh, we're joined by my good friend Devlin, by the way. Um, so that's the, the disembodied voice that's talking to me. I'm not just putting on a cool voice <laughs> and uh, <laughs> pretending. I you recorded it. a bunch of lines before the stream and we're not playing them. Yeah. That'd be the fucking craziest like, reveal ever if it's like, yeah, there was only one guy the whole time. Um, Uh, we're currently drawing... I'm drawing the most American man I can possibly make, and Devlin is drawing the most British man you can possibly imagine. Um, so that's the sort of... the setup right now. Indeed. I'm realizing that it's actually, like, way harder to draw British people. Like, it's like... Because yeah, they have, like, specific kind of, um... I guess trademarks, little like quirks. Yeah. But it's hard to like really like isolate them and make it like only a British person could look like that. Yeah, that's what I mean. Right? It's like I feel like the same with the Americans, or it's like, like we all know, but like really, <laughs> really, really isolating it is a uh, sort of difficult. Just popping in quickly because I'm having dinner around around dads. But two things. What, what would you like to say? Speak your truth, mate. Let's have a look. It better be good. It better be good, mate. Yeah, I want to see this shit. <laughs> Jesus, this is fucked. I feel like this is really mean. Uh, <laughs> uh... <laughs> Uh, Matt, my brother, is feeling better now. He did end up reading Complicated Young Man and he enjoyed it. I'm really glad that you got something out of it. I feel like it's uh, a couple streams ago, by the way, Devlin, uh, H.R. Robert said that he, he gave his little brother a copy of, of my of my book and was like, oh, you should read this after a breakup. And I was like, I don't know if that's like particularly good advice. I don't know if that's a good idea, basically. But like, if, you know, like if it helped, then it helps, which I'm really, I'm, I'm happy to hear that. Hey Matt, welcome to the stream. <laughs> Holy moly, this guy. This guy's definitely American. I don't think anyone's mistaking mistaking this guy for uh, <laughs> anything else. about my takeaway all the way uh, okay i gotta <laughs> i'm gonna stop drawing for a sec while i see what's on the menu <laughs> i'll keep i'll keep chatting <laughs> um gave reading black read yesterday while at the comic book shop in peterborough it's pretty good didn't pick it up because i'm a bit broke and got glasgow got and got glasgow in this coming week you going to glasgow what for
It was right I just say out loud what I was ordering. Um, while t because I was gonna like, try to type while talking. For what's worth, I'm getting a kebab wrap with garlic sauce and chili. Um, that's what I'm getting. Nice. Yeah. I'm like drawing this pretty obvious mean drawing of an American, and then it's like, oh, like yeah, like I'm much better, bro. <laughs> it's, uh... <laughs> Interesting that you pick on the Americans, yet you participate in uh, ordering food. <laughs> yeah, curious. <laughs> hmm. Ugh. Okay, let's try. This is fine. Yeah. I'm gonna just sort of skimp out on the bottom half of the American, I hope you don't mind. Unless you <laughs> want me to do like a really, really accurate... Uh... I need like a full body, I need some background elements, I need... <laughs> <laughs> Horses and a crowd <laughs> and... Yeah, okay. That's something that like, uh, teachers would ask you to do, like, sometimes... We have like these assignments where it's like, oh, it's gonna be creative, draw a picture... Like that goes along with like a book report or something but so like i would get really excited but then they would have specifications like it must feature a background and three animals and two or maybe three of the main characters and yeah like, maybe four things like Christ, this is like being commissioned by my teacher <laughs> yeah for nothing yeah I, I really really hated drawing at school i never ever did any like Assignments. I was never like the art kid, you know, like the sort of those like kids where it's like, mm -hmm. oh, like you want them on your team for the assignment or whatever. Um, yeah. Yeah. I was never. I was never that kid. I never, never wanted to do any any school anything. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think I'm about done with my American actually. <laughs> um, <laughs> I uh, I can add some extra details though. Don't worry. We got we got things going on. Glasgow Comic Art Fair. Uh, Sorry, go ahead. I was gonna say I'm almost done with my my Brit. I'm just adding a little like kind of trademark little image next to him. That's Uh <laughs> the, it's the 18 plus comic convention in Glasgow, so getting bits ready for and such obviously also planned for CocaCon. Hey <laughs> So I like to hear I know exactly the type of teacher you're talking about, Devlin, says, uh, Jesse Marsh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. One time, uh, we, uh, read, um, War, War Horse, the book about the horse from World War I. <laughs> no, that's the full title. <laughs> the titular horse. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, I think Spielberg made a movie out of it, or maybe he, like, produced it or something, but it was, like, uh, the whole thing is that this horse, you know, goes to war. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> the titular horse. And then, uh, we had, it was literally that we had to draw an image. It was like, we had to do a project. And one of the things that you could do was like, just draw things for it. But like, it was just so useless. Like you had to, there were so many guidelines and restrictions. It's like, this wasn't even fun. I'd rather just like write a paper than like have to like check my back and, mm -hmm. and make sure I'm doing this correct. Sure. I know the I know the obvious shirt that an American would wear, but I don't really. It, it is it, it no? I'm not doing it. I'll, I'll come up with something better for the, like where I'm like, oh, every American would wear that because it's like yeah, of course. Oh yeah, where's a fucking American flag on the shirt? Duh, but it's like, come on, bro. The, the, the people are here to see some interesting images, not images they've seen before. I can definitely call it something better. You'd be surprised how many Americans really do dress like that, like, all the time. Oh, man. I don't imagine many Brits wear, like, the Union Jack on their shirt all the time. You, again, do, you'd know. be surprised that, like, it's not, <laughs> it's not, like, the most unheard of thing ever. Um, just trying to draw, like... Actually, no, I'm not going to spoil it for you. <laughs> I'm trying to draw parts of anatomy <laughs> that I'm not, I don't usually draw, basically, is what I'm trying to draw right now. Um... A grundle. Yeah, exactly. Drawing, Drawing someone's grundle. <laughs> um... Jesus Christ. <laughs> 
Okay. Um, let me look up the reference real quick. I did record in a video a video announcing Coca Cola. However, I've currently got sinus infection. Not gonna lie, it feels like someone's draining my nutsack or something. <laughs> I don't think that's what a sinus infection is meant to do. I think you got something more than a sinus infection. <laughs> Uh, the problem there is that someone's draining your nutsack. That's the... You gotta get that checked out. Nutsack draining goblin, probably. <laughs> oh, actually, I actually don't know if it... Sorry, that go looks ahead. Weird. I'm drawing the Union Jack, and I'm doing it from memory. I'm pretty sure I did it right. If I didn't, then this is like an alternate reality. An alternate where, reality. That's where... <laughs> yeah, it's like, uh... That's fair enough, I accept that. Well, you know, Captain Britain's all about alternate reality stuff, right? So, mm -hmm. we all, we all, mm -hmm. <laughs> the first ever multiverse was Britain. It was British. <laughs> <laughs> I actually learned a thing about, um, uh, like, Alan, because Alan Moore created, he was, was in charge of that run. That did, that was all that shit, right? With uh, Captain Britain yeah. and the multiverse and stuff. And I learned that, like, it was, like, in that book, it was the first ever mention of the phrase Universe 616. Um, mm -hmm. And also that the reason that it, Alan Moore chose that for the mainline Marvel Universe is because it was the ancient number of the devil. <laughs> um, oh. it, like, because it's obviously 666 was too obvious, so he chose right. 616, which was the, uh, what it used to be before it became 666 in like, the modern age, basically. Um, so yeah, funny mm -hmm. that he kind of owned owned Marvel a little bit, and then, uh, <laughs> they just sort of ran with it, I guess. That was just yeah, They had no better ideas. You know, they, um, they pulled the old, um, what's his name, Jeff Johns trick, and just, you know, mm -hmm. rummaged through his, his garbage, and, well, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I didn't know that. I didn't know that Alan Moore was the arbiter of 616. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, awesome, Mark. Yeah, it's weird, right? His, uh, his web connects them all, <laughs> if you will. <laughs> <laughs> I love that they uh, just like keep that and like put it on everything, like everything. It's like, yes, this is six one six. That's a big number. You gotta care about that number. And it's like, and then okay. yeah, they probably even have like heard like that why he did it, but they just feel like it's too late. <laughs> they have too many shirts and. Disney Plus shows tied to <laughs> yeah. that brand. Alright, I'm about done if you are. Uh... I'm adding some bean texture. Oh my goodness, okay. <laughs> I'm excited for that. Nutsack <laughs> Draining Goblin was the original, <laughs> was Norman's backup name if Green Goblin was taken. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> See, we're learning, learning a lot of comic facts today, as we usually do on the stream. That's what the whole stream's about, is learning with comic. Honestly, so true. From the beginning, that's always what it's been about. Yeah, that's why I started it. I'm sort of the reading rain the rainbow of the modern age. As I literally <laughs> just admitted, like, ten minutes ago, that, like, <laughs> I haven't read a book in years. <laughs> Actually, the last book I read was for a book club last year that was, um... Well, no, sorry, the first book I read after my, like, long hiatus from books <laughs> was, um, was Catcher in the Rye, which I know is the, nice. is the big sort of book that everyone's, like, you know, um... The big book. It's the big book, <laughs> yeah. So, I read the big book, and then, um, and then, uh, I read Metamorphosis by Franz Kafka, um, uh -huh. and that one, that one really made me sad, made me, gr made me frown. I, um... <laughs> I, I was I read it on the train to go see uh, our good friend James because uh, he lives like a little bit away from me, and um, I got off the train and I was like legitimately like I don't know if I can have like a good night tonight like I'm I'm genuinely quite <laughs> fucked up about this whole situation. Uh, <laughs> about the situation. About the situation <laughs> with <laughs> friends, Captain. Yeah, it's like it's like oh damn, Thomas be going through some shit. It's like yeah, the guy's a bug. Are you adding color, by the way? Oh. I did, but did. Uh, it wasn't like too crazy. It's like when a Playboy artist would just kind of sprinkle some watercolor uh, or something. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna bother with color. I think this is a beautiful image, really. Um, 
Alright, I'm ready when you are. <laughs> I'll, I'll send you this over. Oh, Trying one more quick little bread. No worries. That's the mean one. <laughs> it's the what, sorry? The evil. The mean one. The oh, evil the mean, mean one. Bread. Okay. Before I read D in the last book I read for years was Marilyn Manson's autobiography. Did you learn anything interesting in the in the autobio? <laughs> I'm quite curious. What's he? What's, what's that fella got to say? I feel like we always end up talking about very cancelled people on here. <laughs> oh my god, stream's fucking up. There we go. Like very controversial figures in uh, the public eye. We always just default to. <laughs> children want to see, I guess. This is true. I read a few books in my life, and only two I actually enjoyed was Willie Russell's Blood Brothers and Michael Grant's Gone the series. Uh, and apparently in, in Marilyn Manson's autobio there's a lot of gross stuff. That's the quote. Same. So. I can imagine. <laughs> this the date. Just saving this as the date. Uh, of 303. What a beautiful day. Yeah, I'm done, I think. Okay. I'll, uh, I'll send it over in just a sec. I keep fucking up my keyboard, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, okay. Here we go. Uh, I'll just send you a screenshot. Uh, <laughs> I'll put it on the stream. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, that's badass. <laughs> that's <laughs> my American. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, it's that one animal. <laughs> <laughs> it's the American animal. <laughs> He's well, like, it's the American bird, of course. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, he has Devlin's Brits. I was really expecting more teeth. I won't lie to you, I thought there was going to be a lot more... Um, <laughs> A lot more tooth going on, but uh, yeah, I see both these guys every day of my life. Um, I like the beans, the beans on toast. That's yeah, delightful. The, the guy on the left, uh, it's more based on a specific person. All right. <laughs> is it? Is anyone that we know? Or? Uh, he's also a pretty cancelable figure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Doctor Octopus, obviously. <laughs> You're a sick fuck for what you did to Captain Stacy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he fucking gonna cancel you, bro. Yeah, the age gap between him and uh, Aunt May was fucked up. <laughs> Cancelled. <laughs> yeah, he look, this guy looks very northern. I think if I didn't shave my head, I'd look quite quite a lot like him. So, um, <laughs> I'll put them side by side so people can see. Oh wait, can I? Even That's a good image. Thank you, man. I, uh, the face is based on the whale, by the way. <laughs> That's <laughs> kind of what I was going for. Um, I love it. Gripping his stomach. <laughs> With his Fitbit on. <laughs> like, he's, like, trying to, like, contain something. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, he looks like, something about his eyes, I just think he looks so vacant. I feel like he's, like, about to pass out and he's, like, envisioning an eagle before he dies. Like, that's kind of like how I'm kind of reading the image, at least. Um, for a Brit, I would have drawn the dad from Mary Poppins, Mary Poppins, Mary Poppins, even though I live my whole life and have never seen a guy like that. <laughs> right, yeah. This is good, this is a good yeah, bunch. I think that's a good, a good start. Um, all right, let me... <laughs> Let me, uh, let's do, let's do another, let's, I mean, you, you came up with that one, so I think it's, I'll, I'll try and come up with the next one. Um, um, <laughs> I was gonna say, like, like a fake Archie character. <laughs> like, a, like, a, like, a, like a character that's like, of course it's this guy from Archie, you know? Um, <laughs> <That'd be good. laughs> so, okay, we'll go, we'll go for, yeah. Basically, like a Graggle Simpson sort of thing, right? Does that make sense? Yeah. 
Okay. He's always after that Ghost of Andrews boy. He's always going after. Him. Yeah. <laughs> and you can't draw, draw, you can't draw the Punisher. I mean, you can if you want, but just keep in mind, we know. You have to be like a tier two that like has a real problem with Archie. <laughs> yeah. That also served in Vietnam and had his family killed. Oh yeah. That's some uh. That's some like Riverdale shit, right? I uh. <laughs> I don't know anything about Riverdale, but it seems low-key, like, fascinating. Um, like, the TV show. And also just the, the, the Riverdale land that Archie and the characters live in. I would love to... I'd love to sonnet you myself into <laughs> Riverdale. <laughs> um, it kind of is, like... Like, Quickville is kind of like Riverdale in just the sense that it's, like, distilled in like a specific vision a specific time period yeah it's beautiful in that regard um all right see hl roberts have a good time bye have some dinner. yeah thanks for joining um fake archie okay i'm not gonna look up archie's style um mm -hmm. I, i'm just gonna try and draw an archie character um I'll draw, yeah, I think you said teacher, so now I see a teacher in my head. Um, so I'll try that. <laughs> I was literally just about to draw, like, Marge Simpson. Like, I couldn't, like, <laughs> visualize anything other than Marge. Um, I won't draw Marge. <laughs> you know what, I'll do a student, and you start drawing the spiky head. And <laughs> yeah, like, no, like, yeah. <laughs> I don't remember the real <laughs> style at all. I don't. Uh, I'm trying my best. Let's. Uh, it's just gonna be Simpsons. Like that's like all. I, that's all I can see <laughs> in my head. Um, are their eyes like connected or are they not connected? Can you can you give me that? They're not. They're not they connected. They have like a. They have their eyes are like the top eyelash and then like a big, like oval. Like, like Sonic's eye. eyes. Like kind of yeah. <laughs> yeah okay. Like they have like just little little beady eyes. Okay, I think I got it. My my Archie OC. Jesus, I'm still getting used to all my new keybinds and shit. I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, you should watch Riverdale. It's insane. It's like Fast and Furious levels of insanity, but on a teen drama show. I have actually heard this before that like, yeah, Riverdale is just fucking nuts like it's unlike anything the cw seems to just have a couple shows like that yeah yeah they're like mm -hmm. this, just where this the show is just absolutely fucking bonkers uh for no reason like like um what's his name like like the alfred show <laughs> like <laughs> oh, yeah. the tale of tale of batman's butler um, the tale to alfred the tale yeah, ode to alfred yeah <laughs> but, um, <laughs> tale of two alfreds is that what you said yeah. <laughs> they re reveal at the end that the guy we've been following isn't even the real Alfred. Just some fucking guy. I, the thing is, I can absolutely believe that that's like actually a reveal in the show. From like what I understand about this show. I know that it's like... It's like connected to V for Vendetta. I know that. Um, but other, other than that, I don't... I'm a bit of a novice. I'm trying not to go for like, like a sexy Archie character. If, are, are, are they underage? Should I set? The, you know what I mean? Like a, like a, like an attractive. <laughs> Wait, no. I, what, I meant like, I meant like, oh, oh, I meant like oh, a. Oh. No, 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 no. I meant like, you know what I meant. I meant like a young hip character. I didn't want to. <laughs> I don't want to go for like a young hip Archie character. I was gonna go for one of like the peripheral sort of characters. You know. Um, yeah. I didn't. I, <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't mean it. Um, Are they underage? <laughs> I think so. I'm... <laughs> I, uh, not, not the one, not those ones. I'm talking about like the grandmas and shit. That's what I meant. Yeah. Yeah. I never specified which characters in Archie were the sexy ones. I meant the, the grandmas. Mm -hmm. Do you remember the? There's like two teachers that have, that are like the. The teachers. 
Like there's like a principal and then like a Miss Weatherby, I think is her name. This is like the V teacher. Right, yeah, those guys. That's, that's and then the principal's like some guy who I think in the, in like one of the comics they did after Riverdale came out, that was like more towards like an adult audience. Mm. They're like hooking up or like they have like a history and stuff. Holy moly. Things get, things get fucking serious. <laughs> things get serious on the fucking Riverdale. <laughs> I, like, I was like, let's go with a Riverdale character, and this, this fucking thing that I'm drawing isn't, I don't think, <laughs> has ever heard of Riverdale, never mind. Could be in Riverdale, <laughs> this is not. <laughs> Very curious. Wait, how is it connected to V? Um, I'm pretty sure there's like, I saw some like, stuff about... It, where there was like they were wearing like Viva Vendetta masks like in the show because it yeah. takes place in like 70s Britain, right? Um, mm. That's that's all I know. I don't I don't know anything else. So, yeah, I don't know nothing. Principal Weatherby <laughs> and Miss Grundy. Those are the characters. Miss Grundy. Miss Grundy. Odd. <laughs> it's more like a that's SpongeBob funny. character than a uh, than an Archie character, that's but. Odd. They like hate all their students. It's weird. They like, have a genuine, like, fundamental problem with them. It's not like playful or anything. <laughs> <laughs> it's like actually a problem. The parents keep complaining, but they never get fired. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think this might be the new iconic character. I don't mean to. <laughs> <laughs> don't mean to um, mispresent what I'm drawing here, but this is gonna be big. Oh my god, I keep fucking changing the. There you go. Uh. What else? I um, feel like it's weird because, like, I think from the very beginning, not even from the beginning, but, like, whenever they started adding characters like Cheryl Blossom and stuff is when they started, like, leaning in even, like, even before Riverdale when it was still supposed to be, like, a lighthearted, fun little romp. Yeah. Like, Cheryl Blossom had, like, definitive, I don't know, I guess, like, like a, a suggestive kind of appeal to her like it was literally like oh she's super hot and she's going to mess things up for betty and veronica when it comes to archie right that's all about it's all about the drama isn't it mm -hmm. yeah, the, uh, the archie fans go hard as well well i remember there was a thing that like i remember looking this up a bit ago this isn't like that surprising but it's sort of interesting that the uh do you remember um uh, afterlife with archie that comic um about yeah yeah uh that the guy who wrote that was like the right one of the writers if an adult, or the writer on riverdale um, yeah he was like the shooter, I think. yeah and he, i think that's like the president of archie comics or something jesus christ he fucking loves that shit well happy for him hope he's enjoying his uh his time mm -hmm. in the archie mines Probably. I guess they're, I don't know if they're like, if Archie's ever going to have like the uh, wide, wide appeal that it had when Riverdale was on the air. I don't know if people are going to like keep tuning in to like new Archie media. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> are Archie fans hungry enough? Are they going to, they're going to show up? I don't know. Um, I'm drawing Jughead from memory now. <laughs> Jughead's like awesome, I think. <laughs> oh, I'll just draw him awesome. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> no, I, I love Jughead. Um, I have like a one-page comic about Jughead that I really want to do. Um, mm -hmm. Called, uh, I'll, I'll pretty much just tell you the title and you'll know exactly what it's about. Called uh, Judgehead. Mm -hmm. uh, which is a crossover <laughs> with 2000 AD, obviously. So, um, yeah, that's my, that's my big pitch. People have been missing out ever since they teased Wolverine versus uh, Jughead. Uh, that's the one, yeah. 
like we've been clamoring for years and they haven't given it to us but this will be the, the closest thing yeah how's your drawing going <laughs> it's all right it's a it's not a very good character but <laughs> yeah mine's not very good either but i'm like too far in <laughs> and it's like oh well I, I can't like i've done too much for this this character i can't just like throw it all away now. yeah i know you have to you have to stick with it you have to Turn mine into a little comic, actually, a little uh, two panel or a little one panel comic. Holy shit, this <laughs> actually goes so hard. I'm like, this is fucking great. Um, <laughs> I'll add a little more if you're not done yet. Watching a lot of uh, Curb Your Enthusiasm. Yeah. Um, yeah, shit's funny. I can't. I can't watch it if I'm too like stressed though. Like, because if, if I'm like, oh, I want to watch something funny, it's like the like, Curb just gets me mad sometimes. Like some of the scenarios, I'm like, leave Larry alone. Like you know, like he's he did nothing wrong. Why? You, why? Those are the, the, the most for me is when they're talking about a uh, um Larry having an ass fetish. Oh, yes. Like, oh, I didn't know you had such a fucking ass fetish. He's like, oh, what are you talking about? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I watched that one recently. Yeah, uh, that one's good. I, um... Just such a good thing. So just like, live your truth, Larry. If you, if you like big butts, you cannot lie. It's okay. Mm -hmm. And it's like, I feel like a... I feel like a kid watching a movie from, like, the 50s. It's like, wow, this feels so old. That's mm -hmm. how I felt, because it's like... The idea of a person liking a big ass in like the mid 2000s was, was like the most perverted shit you could imagine. It's like, ew, that's where poop comes from, dude. <laughs> yeah. Like, dude, did you know? You're a sick fuck. <laughs> yeah, Larry, you fucking, we're gonna kill you, Larry. The entirety of the uh, Los Angeles. Oh, we're gonna you and kill you. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna hit you honestly die, Larry David. <laughs> You like ass. <laughs> this is. <laughs> I'm really figuring this out. This is um, going into the, the depths of how this would work, and by that I mean thinking, figuring out if this haircut would show ears or not. Uh, <laughs> I, can't, I struggle with that so bad. It's because I'm bald. I don't know. I don't know. Like, I genuinely don't know when like hairs should show ears or not. I don't know nothing, nothing about that. <laughs> Oh, I should really come up with a name for this character. Um, uh, okay. <laughs> oh, fuck. Sorry, just this is like actually absorbing what I'm looking at. Like, uh, <laughs> you know, when you just take a step back and realize, like, I'm this is something special right here. Um... Quick, uh, quick, quick break while I look at my telephone. Yeah, Judge, Judge Head came from, uh, at Fort Bubble 2022, the one before last, where, uh, we missed, me and James missed the X-Men panel, so we were like, well now what do we do, like, we can get something to eat. So we were just sat, and I went to the toilet, and in this one toilet visit, I uh, came up with Jug Jughead, Judge Dread, Judge Head, if you will, and uh, yeah. also the idea of doing the Wolverine, <laughs> like a Wolverine <laughs> fanzine. <laughs> and uh, if, if any of those, both, if either of those ideas end up happening, it's because of that one trip to the toilet that I had uh, yeah. two years ago. So you have to tell like comic book insider, like comicbooksecrets.com, yeah. in the interview. Did you know? If you let me do, did you know comics? I would <laughs> fucking love to do. Like, I would. I've, my entire life has been leading up to being able to go, like, did you know? And then just like doing like a fact. <laughs> I would love that. Do they do? Did you know comics? Is that a thing? Or... 
No, I don't think so. I think they might have done Did You Know Movies. I feel like that exists, but I don't know if that's like official. I don't know. If uh, it's like, like a, like a false prophet sort of situation. Uh, yeah. Please make yeah, a Jughead going. zine for my shop. I'll stock it in my shop. All right, bet. <laughs> the Jughead zine. We'll explore every facet of this character, including how much he likes food and how how much he is indifferent about much else. <laughs> You have to have uh, his dog, hot dog, in there. What? No, his name's Burger or something. What's his dog's name? <laughs> hot dog is a much better name. Uh, I think it might be, hot dog, but it also might be like an ironic thing where it's like, oh, you think it'd be hot dog? Oh no, he likes burgers, but so you would think he would name his dog Burger, but the dog is called Hot Dog. The dog's called <laughs> yeah. The dog's called Mohammed or How's your, uh, how's your drawing going? I think I'm done. I think I'm, I'm finished with you. Cool. Alright. I'll, uh, I'll send you my screenshot. Here we are. Uh... Okay, I haven't seen it yet. Oh, nice! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, do you want to explain a bit about this guy? <laughs> I'm loving a junk head. his shirt. Yeah, jug. I couldn't have fit his. Yeah. Um, well, it says what it's, it says everything it needs to say, doesn't it? No uh, jug heading in the library. Mr. Wrinkles. Yeah. 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 That's kind of awesome. <laughs> yeah, like I mean, I, right. I think so too, right? I didn't, I didn't yeah. know if they had a librarian, but I can imagine like '50s antics happening while Jughead's trying to eat like a whole spaghetti carbonara <laughs> while hiding it in a copy of like um, A Tale of Two Cities or whatever, you know. He's, but, yeah. <laughs> he's keeping burgers in his books, and he's like getting really close up to them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, the awesome. idea is sat in the library, and he's like. Are you eating right now? No! no. Yeah. <laughs> it's just all over the books. Showing like a Walt Disney biography. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's like I'm watching. Like history of the Titanic, there's a whole like lobster firm door just like in like it's hidden awesome. behind the book. <laughs> it's fucking <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Um yeah, that's the type of shit that like Miss Wrinklesworth would catch him doing, basically. Mm -hmm. Um Let's have a look at her. <laughs> so there's Joe Bean. Is uh <laughs> Joe Bean age fifteen. Rolls off the tongue. Do you wanna Is it all is it quite oh, self explanatory or would you like to give us some more? Well his whole deal is that he's a, uh, you know a, a houseless student that goes to Riverside or yeah. what's this Riverdale Ball High School. Yeah. And uh, everyone uh Fucking uh, hates him or something. <laughs> Everyone hates him. Why? They just uh, they're unnerved by him because he has. He's always carrying around like the animals in his wagon. <laughs> oh right. I thought that, I really read the bits in his wagon as like deer bones. Like I thought, like yeah. is that what that is or is it just? Yeah, it's, he's just got like garbage and shit. <laughs> they're not at all useful to him. <laughs> not useful to anyone. Yeah. <laughs> All right. He, just, he goes always enrolled in the classes, but like it's like, what are you doing here? Like he does, he doesn't ingratiate himself like in the in any of the like social groups or anything. Oh, he yeah. just like goes to class and sits. Jesus, this is sad. <laughs> Maybe uh, no, he's, actually, he's he's actually powerful. <laughs> he's actually oh, he's actually powerful. You didn't you should. <laughs> that's all you had to say. <laughs> oh, he's actually powerful. <laughs> Actually, that's have untold strength, but... <laughs> I love the idea of, like, an Archie character biography, where it's like, <laughs> yeah, nobody likes him. He stinks, he carries garbage. 
<laughs> but he actually he's actually incredibly powerful. Like what does that mean in the Archie universe? Is it is the hierarchy of power in Riverdale about to change? Like this shit shit. needs to like happen, like you could count on it. The shit that he's like, oh, so it's like everyone thinks he's just a stinky weirdo, but he's actually got tips and tricks that people didn't even know about. Like Sabrina's like, oh, I need a certain thing for this spell, and he shows up, he's like, I got what you need, I'm 15 years old. <laughs> yeah, I'm Joe Bean, age 15. <laughs> <laughs> or is it Joe Beeb? Sorry, I messed, messed that up, fuck. I was thinking it was Joe Bo. So oh, Joe Bo, like a... oh, right, okay, that makes Joe more sense. Bean is that sounds more like in line with the, the Archie Historia. Yeah, yeah, because the whole Bean. time he's a teenager, he can just say his name and his age. That yeah, sounds Joe good. Bean. Joe Bean, 15, Joe Bean, 16. Yeah, good. I like this. I like this a lot. Very, very good. He kind of looks like a uh, Karl Karl Marx. Is it? Uh, <laughs> maybe he's got some <laughs> communist literature in that dripping, sopping wet uh, bindle. Who knows? <laughs> Maybe when when a uh, Wrinklesworth is given Jughead a hard time <laughs> yeah. free and burger in the library, he's reading communist literature. Yeah, or oh, maybe she gets him into it. Maybe she teaches him how to read. In the, uh... yeah. oh, That's the only club that he is a part of. Oh yeah, the uh, radical socialist club. <laughs> right, he's a radicalized young man who had no no place, and he he looks to politics for answers. It's uh, relevant in today's modern age. I like it. Very good. This is literally a literally character for the people, if everyone wants them. <laughs> He's also very powerful, keep in mind, so... <laughs> <laughs> the two things people, that young kids love, yeah. communism and power. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the two things that the, that the children need today. Beautiful. <laughs> I love that very much. Um, Thank you. Oh, hold on, give me just a sec. Feed my mic on the stream by accident. There you go. Mm. Um, should we get into something else? Uh, Perhaps. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what to do. Um, first, let me resize. Oh, shit. I flipped the canvas ages ago. I didn't even realize it. Let me flip it back. Um, these are both powerful, powerful images that, have, that we've. That we've got going on here with the American and it's a very Americana themed stream today, isn't it? We got the American, we got Riverdale. Um, the American, I like that, like just calling him that. It's like, oh, that's the American. Yeah, that's the American, yeah. Maybe this guy should be in Riverdale. <laughs> it's like a hyper realistic face. Um, <laughs> He's just a real guy. He's really like, yeah. he doesn't do any real, like choreograph things where like, ah, oh, gee, I can't wait to go to the sock hop. He's just like, <sighs> <laughs> he's like struggling to stand up and shoot. You have a USB charger? <laughs> <laughs> you charge my vape. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, that's good shit. Um, what about? What about, what about, what about, um... I was thinking that uh, we could draw w one cowboy. One cowboy. Just once. Okay. Kind of, a, kind of like the ghoul, the ghoul inning, where it was just like, our, our, our inter interpretations of what a ghoul is, or what a ghoul means to you. Right. We could do that, but for cow, cow poke. How about, should we draw them like, like draw, you know, like at each other. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be fun. <laughs> yeah. So if if we continue the sorry, this music's weirdly intense. Let me skip this real quick. Um, <laughs> but uh, how about we draw them like? I'm trying to think. Like, if, well, if I'm on the right hand side shooting left, right? Oh no, sorry. If I'm on the left hand side shooting right, and then you you do the yeah. opposite, right? Sound good? Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's give it a crack. Follows fills. You can just flip one of them. Yeah, yeah. Unless, yeah. unless it like ruins it, like we realize that, oh fuck, I drew this completely wrong. Yeah. And then we flip. Then, uh, it should be fine though. Mm hmm. Yeah, let's give it a crack. I like that. <clears throat> I would love to draw a Western. Um, I think that'd be very, very fun. Potentially one day. Mm hmm. 
the um yes the the Western aesthetic, the old West aesthetic is very uh speaks to me. Yeah. It calls to me. It calls to you the West. <laughs> just power of the West, the spirit of the West. Let me look up some some reference for this. Were you ever scared of horses when you were younger, or even now? Um, well, I used to, I used to um, ride horses. I used to, yeah. yeah, I used to be a little horse boy. Um, mm -hmm. It was just something to do, I guess. My parents got me into it, and yeah, so I was never. No, I had a, I had a bit of an affinity for horses. Even I was, I was a fan of them, um, mm -hmm. but. Um, in my recent years, I've definitely fallen out of that horse realm. I haven't been horse riding in over 10 years, I think. Um, but I would love to, one of my sort of New Year's resolutions is to, um, is to like meet a horse this year. I wanna, <laughs> I wanna like, I just really, really want to uh, go to like a, there's a sanctuary near where I live for like rare horse breeds. Um, <laughs> So I would really like to go and just see the rare horses and hang out. Um, so no, yeah, that's that's my experience with horses. What about you? What you? I've uh, only seen horses like in farms, like like while driving past them. I've never been unclose and personal with a horse, but I just seen like I've seen like the, the dark side of horse. You've seen the dark side of horses. <laughs> yeah, I just seen too many videos of them. Like uh, just being evil and like eating things, uh, eating people, <laughs> eating people, <laughs> you know, like kicking either other horses or people, yeah. like really badly and, and fucking them up. So I'm, I, it's less that I, I don't see them as evil creatures. I just think that they're so, uh, volatile. On, on, yeah, yeah, they're so volatile. Like they can just like do. I'm scared of their power. <laughs> <laughs> like Joe Bean. <laughs> exactly. That's why I don't fuck with them. I'm too scared of the power. <laughs> yeah. That's reasonable to be fair. It's good to respect the horse. Because you gotta you gotta respect the horse and the horse will respect you back, bro. Um mm -hmm. You gotta be aware that yes, they can they can really do some damage. Um but like they're not they're not inherently dangerous. They're not inherently violent creatures unless unless they are. <laughs> then, then, then there's like four evil horses out there that do do all of it on purpose. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> so. they just give horses a bad name, yeah. But um, no, I would. We'll get you, get you, get you down to Newcastle. We'll get you, get you riding some horses. Make you, make a cow poke out of you. Yeah, yeah that awesome. I, that's the thing though, is that it's like I, it's at odds with my, uh, my dreams of, of, cowboy society. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. You like, are. I yearn to be a cowboy, but I'm afraid of the horse, which is the cowboy's most essential tool. So <laughs> yeah. It is Arsenal, yeah. It is fighting. Yeah. Um, yeah, you gotta, you gotta be like the Mandalorian and get up on the horse and, you know, I don't know, do, do horse stuff. Um, yeah, I would, I would, I would, kind of enjoy to get back into horses as a concept. Um, <laughs> but uh, we'll see. Only time will tell. Still a lot of the air left, so. We got some like um, Japanese beats playing on there right now, which is not good for a cowboy. There we go. Mm -hmm. This is on the on my uh, um, copyright-free Spotify music playlist that I play on every stream. Is a uh, is Mr. B or not Mr. Bean? <laughs> <laughs> is a uh, Mr. Ed on your radar at all? Uh, well, no. I know I know him because of. <laughs> I know what you meant, but the mental image, is, <laughs> like I imagine, like a like a big board with like red string connecting everything. It's like just to add on that. He's not on that, but I understand. I know him because of the historical context of Mr. Ronald Reagan. Um, yeah, but no, he's not necessarily on my on my radar. Why do you Why do you ask? Or is it just like did you ask if I knew about him, basically? 
Uh, just he's just kind of like one of the he's like one of the good horses, I think. Oh, all right, because he speaks. <laughs> but I can say that they're fully good. He has no evil in his heart. That's that's cool. That's good. Yeah, because he can communicate, you know. But if you spoke the mm -hmm. language of the horse, then you would know that that's the case for a lot of them. It's like a that's avatar. True. I think. You should do a yeah, like reverse, Mr. Ed, where a man can speak horse, and all the other horses are like, "Oh, look at, look at this!" <laughs> I think that'd be great. I have to like hide him from the other horses. They're like, "Oh, they could fuck. They'll fucking kill you." Or <laughs> yeah, you smoke too bad. Yeah. You gotta, get, <laughs> you gotta get like another president to play him though. This is maybe one of the more interesting things I've ever drawn. Um, <laughs> uh, can Tom draw a gun? We're about to find out. Has <laughs> <laughs> your cowboy coming out? It's alright. I just added a pretty fun element that wasn't there before. Alright. <laughs> it, it may or may not ruin the. Well, it was probably like a normal looking guy. <laughs> Fun element, I'm very curious what that means. <laughs> I, was, I was literally drawing him and I was like, man, this guy isn't goofy enough. And then I added... <laughs> a fun element. I had this fun element. This <laughs> very cool element. And then it's definitely the change. Things have shifted. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the balance of the universe is quite <laughs> Awesome, though. I'm very excited to see this element. <laughs> oh, uh. Hold on. Hold on. I feel like this, my style switches from like second to second. Like, I genuinely don't know like how shit is gonna come out, you know what I mean? Like, I'm like, oh yeah, I'll draw this like realistic, and it's like, never mind. This, this is not what's happening now. Bail, bail. Yeah. Um, okay. Alright. You play much uh, Fallout? Play Fallout in <laughs> Vegas? I have played Fallout New Vegas, like, probably, I've restarted that, like, probably 15 times, and I haven't really got any further. <laughs> yeah. Where do you get to but, before turning off? Uh, I'm trying to remember. It's like, once you get to the, uh, it's like a, not a border patrol thing. It's like, people are, like, trying to get into a different town. It's, like, kind of, like, in deeper in the, uh... Like mountains, I guess. I don't remember. But it's when there's like ghouls and shit. The ghoul town. Ghoul town? <laughs> yeah, the ghoul town, and then you're like, this is too, it's too fucked up for me to think about it. <laughs> um. I have to, as soon as I see a ghoul, I have to turn the game off. <laughs> you like shoot your screen with an actual gun and uh, <laughs> turn it off. I ult F4 and uninstall the game, and then I'm like, alright, <laughs> I should try that. <laughs> yeah, he's <laughs> like, Jesus. Um. Do you want to get an extra, speaking of a rogue element, would you like to add a rogue element to the stream? Um, yeah. <laughs> like add an extra, a third man, if you will. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me add a third man real quick. Uh, is this gonna... Oh shit. Hey, sorry about this. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I, I, I think I left Devlin in the dust. Hold on. Uh... There we go. It's easy to go in the chat. No, it's okay. So Wait. Hold on, shit. Fuck. <laughs> okay. I'm... Is... Does this work? Are we here? Hello? Hello, hello. Am I on, am I on the stream? Uh, I think so, yeah. Alright. I think that's hello, everybody. Hello, people. That's everybody now. Uh, yeah, this is James, my friend James. He's, he's already been here. He's, I mean, hello. Friend, yeah. Um, we're currently... Currently drawing cowboys, by the way, James, shooting each other to death. Um, so, cowboys? We're drawing t well, I'm drawing a cowboy shooting one direction, Devlin's drawing a cowboy shooting it the other direction. And then, uh, All right, okay. We're gonna match them up. 
Do you want can to I draw Grandpa Simpson in the middle saying, like, you can both have me? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Um, or just like an extra rogue element, whatever you want, yeah. Um, <laughs> rogue element, okay, got you. Yeah. Um, uh, okay, I'm looking at the stream so I can sort of get a sense of the, one, the gist of the piece. One's shooting left, one's shooting right, basically. Is the, mm -hmm. the, whole, the whole optics of this. Okay, got you. I think I can work with that. Um, yeah, how's the filming going so far? It's been fun. We've drawn... Um, well, Devlin drew an American. Oh no, I Devlin drew a, a Brit. I drew an American, and then we drew made-up Archie characters, like characters that aren't <laughs> actually in Archie, but were like, you know, like a Graggle Simpson sort of thing was how we we said, we said it. Um, Graggle Simpson, yeah. yeah of it's like it's like oh yeah, classic Archie character, like this guy. Um, but yeah, the we're current now we're drawing cowboys, and then we'll do something else after that. Even it's just all. Mm -hmm. It's just all beautiful. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. Okay. Um, as a question to come in, so far from what he was. Oh my goodness, you're, you're cutting out quite a lot already. I don't know if that's the same for. Oh, hold on a second. Am I. Am I cutting out there a little? Oh no! Is that the same for you, Devlin, or is it just for me? Yeah, all good. Alright, I got you. How do I sound now? That's alright. I sound normal now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. better. Yeah, yeah, okay. Better. Okay, cool. Sweet. Um, yeah, rogue rogue element. I'll see if I can ruin that. Yeah, just, just something that could add a little extra fuel to the flames of the situation. <laughs> this already crazy situation. Yeah, the last thing you want to see happen if you're a, a piano player <laughs> in a saloon. <laughs> <laughs> You're a new lawman. Like, oh, fuck's sake. <laughs> They've already started. <laughs> My drawing. It's sort of Franco Belgian sort of shit going on right now. <laughs> My drawing, like. <laughs> I think I was just subconsciously thinking of Lucky Luke. I think that's what's going on here. Mm, I was thinking more like Desperate Dan. Well, that, yeah, yeah, that's sort of similar, yeah. The kind of cowboy rap scallion character. Uh, mate, you can't even, can't even fucking walk. You can't even cross the street without running one of them in, in parry. <laughs> <laughs> are you are you familiar with Desperate Def Def Dan Devlin? I don't think so, no. There's like a comic that we have uh, over in the UK called Pepino, and it's where, it's where, it's where um, our... Dennis the Menace originates from. Yeah, resides. Um, yeah, yeah. Same year, right? That's the weird thing yeah, about the, Dennis, the Dennises. Yeah. But um, same, yeah. we have this character. We have this character called Desperate Dan, who's like this great big cowboy. And the kind of like the, the thing that makes it um, uh, intriguing, other than this, like a cowboy um, kind of humor comic, is the fact that the characters are all Scottish. They all speak with like <laughs> phonetically correct, like Scottish dialogue. <laughs> So he's just this like giant Scottish cowboy, and everyone else is Scottish, and um, it's just like yeah, totally um, anachronistic to how. Well, I guess like some cowboys would have been Scottish, but you know, not in the kind of like, the way that we we think about them classically, though. So mm -hmm. yeah, that's awesome. Uh, <laughs> I think it's pretty awesome. Yeah. <clears throat> that's so cool. Have you guys ever heard like the? The creator of Dennis the Menace, like how like fucked up his life is. What? No. No. Because <laughs> he made it uh, about like he made Dennis the Menace like based on his own son, and like the Dennis's mom and dad are him and his wife, and uh, uh, his wife uh, killed herself. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! And then, uh, his son got drafted into Vietnam and died in Vietnam. Holy fuck. And so, like, God. he's just, so for, like, the, for, like, the next, like, ten years or whatever, he was, like, just writing stories about his dead wife and kid. <laughs> but, like, shit, through, the angle, through the angle of, like, oh, my son sure is a rap scale. <laughs> he sure gets in a lot of trouble. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I, I, I had no idea about any of that. Oh shit, man! 
Yeah, that didn't happen with British Dennis and Menace, as far as I'm aware. <laughs> um, I, don't think, I don't think he's based on anything. He's really doing as I did. Based on a, on a classic Scottish little lad. <laughs> That's all he's based on. He's, the, oh, Dennis Menace is Scottish, though. He's English, which is why I think I've spoken about this before. But like, because the Vino is a Scottish comic. Mm. But um, obviously, with Dennis and Menace is like canonically English. And I think that, like, of course, the Scottish people did the English character to be the most menacing of all. Yeah. <laughs> Unlike um, Uru Willy, who is actually like a like a Scottish character, but he like Uru is just like our like yeah, and he's a legend exactly yeah. Like so like they obviously is. He's a yeah, he's a, <laughs> he always he always gets away. We normally gets away with it, I think, and, uh, and everyone loves him for it. So. Mm. And he's like the Scottish kind of equivalent. I think he comes before Dennis the Menace, though. That's the thing. He like predates all of them. He's um, a horrifying so, yeah. though. But yeah, but he's the worst, though. Like by far, like the worst iteration of the of the genre. Like it's he's like kind he, of like a little... the worst shit. Like he's like an evil bastard. Or, like... <laughs> no, no, not even. Like his shit is like not that horrible at all. Really, he's like mm. he's just kind of. I think we were talking about this where we talking like he's just kind of like an annoying little like, middle class kid like he's just kind of uh, a bit he's got of, ADHD uh, that's like his only, yeah. that's his problem <laughs> yeah they give they give him uh, Ritalin and then he becomes uh, <laughs> just Dennis inc- incredibly yeah just normal no 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 um, amicable Dennis or Henry oh, no 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 thank you amicable Henry. or Henry yeah they can never they can never shake the evil English uh, genes from uh, Dennis the Menace's stuff with him yeah <laughs> Stomach, they stomach pump them. <laughs> <laughs> no, I said they stuck with them, but the idea they have to stomach pump. Um, <laughs> I don't know what they're doing to this kid. Oh my god, this <laughs> bit has really, gone too far. Yeah, I really need to pick this kid up for no reason. Um, <laughs> no, no. I feel bad for him now. Nah. Don't, okay. feel, bad. don't feel bad about it. Don't feel bad about it. You didn't do okay. it. Okay. Okay, good. <laughs> you didn't really do it anyway. It was that fake Dennis guy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because I feel like, yeah, the American Dennis and Dennis and Menace isn't that menacing either. Like, isn't he, like, dude, yeah, he's like, a good guy. Yeah. <laughs> confusing. He's, he's just a regular guy. <laughs> he grew up and he hates that people call him Dennis the Menace still. <laughs> just because one fucking old asshole was like, didn't like him. He like ruined it. Like imagine Mr. Wilson like spreading misinformation to like his future employers. Like, yeah, hey, he was a real menace back then. Like, yeah. Younger. You can't get a job because yeah, he's just like <laughs> he's a sad. Already went to war. <laughs> he went to Vietnam. Yeah, he had no other prospects. Everybody got drafted, but he went uh, under of his own volition. Jesus, and... the saddest thing of all, isn't it? Mm. And his poor dad has to still write fucking comics about him. <laughs> if, I was, if I was the creator of this and this and all that shit happened to me, I'd start like inputting it in the, the comic a little bit. I would start like adding details where it's like he uh like add some like anti authoritarian or like anti US government like <laughs> things. Like anti war. Yeah. yeah. Are we coloring in our cowboys, by the way? Do you want to color them in? I can color mine in. Uh, I could, I could. Just a little splash. <clears throat> the playboy got, splash. Yeah. I've got the uh, I've got the rogue element, if you guys... Oh, do you want to wait until you guys are finished with your cowboys? Yeah, yeah. Until, yeah, okay, I got you. Alright, fair play. What's going on in the chat right now? Is anyone... No, it's silent. Was... I give a fuck. There's silently <laughs> waiting. <laughs> yeah. I don't care about the chat no more. This is my fucking oh, stream. Damn. <laughs> Fair enough. You guys better yeah. like, You guys better like, yeah, I'm gonna get real mad, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, the uh, the inmates are ruining the asylum now, and it's the, the actual people that own the stream who are in charge of what's going on yeah. in the stream. Yeah, yeah. It's an Ouroboros type shit, that's what's happening. We're just mm. being our own chat. Put Christmas music on the on the bar right now. On the bar. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, at least it's not um, your mum. Oh, my mum hangs out. 
Wait, wait. What I, I saying? I missed them. Oh yeah, my mom in the chat is what you're, is what you're saying. I, don't know, I think I was having a... What are you talking about, bro? He's cutting out. I think we kill him. Sorry, I'm having a moment. I'm having a... <laughs> I'm having a senior, senior moment. Yeah. yeah. Where do you, uh... Where do you guys stand on the Resident Evil franchise? <laughs> Where do I stand, like, politically, or... <laughs> pro or anti? Uh, <laughs> it's like, are you pro, are you pro Resident Evil, are you, are you pro, um, uh, Silent Hill? No. It's like, kind of the... I feel like I'm a, I'm a big fan. I like it a lot. Um, one of the first games I ever remember playing... Well, I'm not, that's not true, actually, but I just tell a lie. One of the first games that I got for the Xbox 360, which is very different, um, okay. was Resident Evil 5. Um, I, was like, <laughs> I was like nine years old, and my dad got me a red Xbox that came with Resident Evil 5. And I was like, wowie, and I played it, and it scared the fucking life out of me. I couldn't even <laughs> comprehend it. But um, I know that's like not a very good one, but I have a lot of love for it because of that. Um, <laughs> But I went, I've, I've played like Resident Evil 2 and, and uh, played 2 and 4 and 7 and 8 the ones I played. Um, mm -hmm. and 5. So yeah, I would say I'm a bit of a fan. What about you? I uh, have played, I don't think any of them, but uh, my friend is really, he really likes Resident Evil, so I've like been kind of like infected with like all of this like knowledge and. Right. Uh, like his appreciation for it, and so now it's like in my mind where it once never was. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You got a favorite sort of um, anecdote from the series, something that brings you joy? Uh, probably the uh, when Chris Redfield punches that boulder. That's yeah, that's from the it's from the big ones from it's from five. So mm -hmm. I have a lot of love for that also. Um, yeah, no, I like I like those games quite a lot. You a retro gamer? You a gamer at all? I don't even know if we talk about video games. Um, uh, I used to be when I was like, like in middle school and high school, and then I just kind of like stopped. Mainly because I, uh, like my computer can't play many games. Yeah, I get that. Like, there's only so many games I can play that like run well. I just kind of uh, am really bad at like finishing them. Like, I just uh, like start them and then play them for a while, and if I get, like, stuck on something, I'll just, like, stop playing it forever. Sure, yeah, I but, uh, so I don't play many anymore, but I think if I, like, I think if my life was, like, really, like, perfect, <laughs> or, like, <laughs> if I, like, if everything in my life started working out really well, like, everything was, like, on point, and, uh, then I could, like, be, like, you know what, I can actually find the ability to enjoy playing video games. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. It could be a hardcore game. And I'm not, I, yeah, I wish I wish I was more of a gamer. Um, well, I, as I mentioned, I got a new laptop, and the laptop is uh, very powerful. It is powerful like <laughs> Ninja Bean, in a sense. So <laughs> it's like, basically, like, I, I can play, I played Halo Infinite last night on, like, full settings at, like, 400, oh, sorry, 140 FPS at, like, 4K. <laughs> And I was just like, holy shit, I'm never gonna get anything done ever again. Like, knowing that I can, like, just play this like this, I just, I couldn't believe it. Um, so, yeah, I'm probably gonna become a bit more of a gamer now that I, this laptop can do that. I literally bought it just because my old laptop, like, was struggling to even, like, run YouTube, you know what I mean? Like, it was just, yeah. at it, its wit's end. But in doing this, yeah, I've kind of doomed myself to, to become a gamer, so. You're in gamer hell now. <laughs> in gamer hell, yeah. Um, how's your cowboy going along, Devil? I think I'm about finito. Pretty well. I'm uh, giving some details on his little iconic cowboy boots, but... Oh, okay. Yeah, mine's pretty, mine's pretty basic. I, uh, I just went generic cowboy, because it's just what, like, first things that come to mind when I think of cowboy. I did add... Uh, not like a full horse. I didn't go full horse, but I... There is some horse. <laughs> There's a horse play going on. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you. There is some horse play. That's fine. We can we can accept mm -hmm. horse play. 
There's a, there's a lot of horseplay last stream. I think that's probably been discussed at some point. Right? Yeah, we I yeah, did, yeah, there we drew a couple of horses yeah. last time. Yeah, you joined and I sung you my my song. <laughs> like, I know, I, can't, oh. <laughs> I uh, James can vouch that I, that had been that had been a plan for like a week before before you joined. <laughs> I just uh, thought it'd be really funny to pick someone in the chat, someone that I knew would probably enjoy a, a nice song, and just write a, like, a little song for them. And uh, it just happened to be you, my friend. So um, I hope you enjoy. <laughs> It was good. I did enjoy the little, the little ditty. <laughs> I just remember doing it, and then James going like, "But why?" <laughs> <laughs> I remember you said like it would be very surprising, and I was like, "Well, that's that's true. <laughs> <laughs> I would be surprised if that happened to me." Yeah. I hope you Indeed. I was. I was surprised. I was. I. I was going in, I was like, oh, I wonder what little Tom is up to. <laughs> <laughs> All that I know, someone was waiting for me. <laughs> <laughs> are we uh, drawing our cowboys actually shooting, or are they... Uh... I've kind of just drawn, like, the gun, sort of, like, a bit of a muzzle flash, sort of, on the gun. Uh, oh, okay. I've also got oh, some effect, but, like, that's neither here nor there. This cowboy fucking sucks. I'm I'm really sorry you're gonna have to see this. I'm not really <laughs> 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 really be good. I'm pretty open to most cowboy. Okay. Uh, yeah. I'm quite happy with the head, but everything else is like full on. Um. It's very like cowboy Hank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, again, I think like subconsciously, I think I just based on all these different cowboys. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you if you look at my my stream, James, you can see the my drawing of an American, my fake Archie character, Miss Wrinklesworth, and uh, my cowboy. <laughs> Oh, Devil, what was your fake Archie character? It was a uh, Joe Bo or Joe Bean, either or. <laughs> Here he is. Joe Bo? Yeah, Joe Bo. Oh, wow. <laughs> He's 50 years old. <laughs> he is, he is oh, great. no. That is, this is so peep show cool. This is incredibly <laughs> peep show. Oh, wow. yeah. Oh my god. Is the other guy meant to be... Oh fuck, what's his name? Graham Linehan? Yeah. Oh, yeah. got it. I didn't know Yes, was. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had like two I'm images in my head. At first I was gonna do, like, the two kind of like British men that I can imagine is like a guy who's like really into his like interests and stuff. Like he really likes Legos and like trains and stuff. Or... Mm -hmm. uh, just like kind of a disgusting, <laughs> just <kind of laughs> nasty fellow. Yeah. Uh, I still don't think that you went for like autistic guy as your like, other British all the time. I guess we we lead by example, James. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, play. <laughs> I got a kebab wrap waiting for you guys. I'm uh, excited. Oh. Oh my days. Ooh. Yeah. I, um, I <clears> eat <throat> that food. <laughs> Don't you know? I'm gonna eat that food. It's gonna be my new catchphrase when I'm gonna sell five million Funko Pops and they might like, eat my food. I'm <laughs> gonna eat that. I'm gonna eat that food. Yeah, like, it's very relatable. Nice animal, like, impact font. Like, meme text. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> Let's get this viral. Let's get this viral. Yeah, that, that would go viral. Hello, yeah. saying viral. <laughs> <laughs> is there any way we can make this more viral? Is it, this is good. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> but can we get this, can we get this viral? I have one note. I mean, obviously, you need more subway surface on the stream. 
family guy puts <laughs> in one corner. Yeah. Alright, I think I'm done with my kill. Alright, let's have a look. I'll, uh, I'll send a photo of mine. I'll send a photo of my... photo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I sent you my rogue element. I had to, I had to snatch, I might have to grab them. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's oh, a good right, right. element. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh wow! I may or may not have uh, gotten my uh, directions crisscross, we don't know. Oh, shit. That's just a rumor that's going around though. So, like, killing this guy in horrible force. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit, no one <laughs> okay. You're probably just fucking... <laughs> in the same direction, yeah. Fire uh, squad. This guy's awesome. <laughs> they kinda they kinda match up, they're kinda cool characters together. Alright. Um, mm -hmm. I'll flip mine, um, because he's fine, he doesn't he doesn't mind. Um uh... That's really good. Look at my office fucking his pants. His little uh uh chaps. Yeah, bro. I just, I drew the chin and the nose, and I just immediately knew, like, yeah, this is, this is what, I, what I'm here for. <laughs> He's like a cowboy, uh, not even a soy jack, just a regular woe jack. Yeah. It's a, yeah, like a return to tradition, eat beans and die. <laughs> that horse is amazing, by the way, sorry, I didn't even address the horse in the back. Yeah, the horse in the room. <laughs> Can we dress the horse in the room exactly? Um, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to create like a cohesive image um, with these. You need to resize the canvas. I'm uh, I've just resized the bros instead. Um, bros. Like the brothers, yeah. Um, these characters, I can't believe how they got here. Do you think they were, they were made each other and this little kid like ran in? Is that like. <laughs> I was thinking he's a, he's a very short man. I didn't think he was. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing, incredibly dark. He's a mascot like little character for the salon. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, he's, exactly. The, he's the owner of the salon. He's like, no guns in my salon. He yeah. runs in yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. No guns in my salon. horses in the salon. <laughs> <laughs> That That's where it came in, it's like, a, a, the horse caused the drama. Yeah. He started saying evil things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He had a few too many pints and started saying evil things, and then they were like, get this goddamn horse out of here! <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then the two... Like you're trying to protect his horse's honor, he's trying to defend him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, brilliant. That's, that's good. Yeah, this is what Spider-Verse looks like in my mind, like, just all these different <laughs> styles going on and shit. Um, oh, wow. Yeah. Um, Alright, let me save that real quick. That's beautiful. Um, I love the gun sound effect is yowch. I've not seen that before. That's new. Innovative. This is the new, this is setting the new trend. This is viral. <laughs> yeah, this, this is that viral, viral yowch trend, yeah. Yeah. I'm um, just rearranging the canvas over here. He's puffing on his big cigar. His big <laughs> camel cigar. Yeah. <laughs> Incredible. You know I like my chicken fried. Cold beer on a Friday night. Shooting men <laughs> in my sight. Wow. Yeah. Uh, I want to go to a, I want to go to a hoedown so badly. That's my like main. Hoedown. Yeah, next time we go to America, we just got to go to a hoedown, even if it's like in <laughs> like Athens or rural. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, even if it's in that like what is it the um, the gas station hell hellscape, you know? <laughs> yeah, with going the McDonald's to... and the yeah, the yeah. yeah, yeah. I like that. Uh, the home of the free and the land of the brave and pretty certain is what they call it over there. This is true. This is true. Okay. Um. What's what's missing? Wrinkles feet. Wrinkles. Wrinkles were saying to the kid. It's no just not a kid. <laughs> <laughs> That's just not one kid. That's, That's not just, just any 
testicular <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> That's the man himself! <laughs> yeah, she's saying, no junk heading in the library! And uh, uh, he's got, he's got, yeah. Because you fucking, you know what's about to happen. You know <laughs> He knows that shit's about to go down. You know anything about Jughead, you know what he's about to do. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He's gonna jug all of his enemies. Um... <laughs> his jug shit, by the way. <laughs> so he can cross his arms and you can still see what his name is. Yeah, I like my doctor, like, test uh... <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, the eye doctor test. That's what he's wearing. So when he crosses, it's people think it's just, it's like. He shows up to the uh, library and he's like, no jugheading. He's like, I'm not wearing a jughead shirt, I'm wearing like an eye test shirt. And she's like, oh, okay, that's fine. But then when he crosses his arms, it says jug. And she's like, oh, wait a second. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah. Incredible. Yeah. Um, what to do, what to do. I think I kind of want to draw the stranger. Um, they didn't so. Stranger stuff, yeah. Um, so, uh, in a scenario though, I'm not really sure what scenario to put this character in. Um, mm. What's a classic comic book scenario? Oh, what about the, um, you were on about doing like the, the Captain America versus Daredevil posing. Oh uh, yeah, that, I mean, I want to do that for real, but um... For real, though, not, not for a joke. Not, for, not, not in jest, but like... <laughs> um, Play them all. I, I don't know what to draw, draw them doing. Uh, or, uh, we were going to do a thing where it was going to be the stranger meeting a new character, or not a new character, but like meeting, having a crossover with the character. Oh, uh, yeah. I, yeah. I, I, we could save, that's a really fun one, and I'd like to do that on Draw Pile, all three of us. Yeah, um, that'd be fun. I think I would like save to do that, that thing, during yeah. the yeah. sort of Kickstarter run with Next right. Um But for now, um, I mean. <laughs> What a classic, what's a, what's a 70s comic book thing that the character could be doing? Like fighting a vampire. That's fucking perfect. Fighting a gorilla. Fighting a gorilla. Fighting a gorilla. Oh, gorilla. Okay. a gorilla vampire, yes. A gorilla <laughs> Okay. Alright, I'll give it a go. If you have a... If you want to join in, Devlin, feel free, but you don't have to. And because I'm not paying you for this one, so like, don't worry about it. <laughs> I'll, uh... I'll do a little doodle. I'll doodle a little bit. Yeah, I'll do this. I'll do this one and then uh, I'll take this one like mildly seriously, and then I'm gonna have my kebab rap. <laughs> what, what have you been up to today, James? Um, I've been inking uh, a comic book series that I, uh, I I'm normally just a writer on, but we we're a little bit behind on schedule, so I'm helping out with the inking. It's called uh, Green Kid Adventures. I know, hold your falls, hold your falls. Um, <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, no, so I've, I've been inking that. Um, pretty much it, really, just just doing that, watching a lot of Mad Men. I'm almost, I'm almost at the end of it now. Um, there's a very interesting um, musical uh, moment in the episode I just watched that I was quite taken aback oh, by. I wouldn't say. I think I know what you're talking about, yeah. Yeah, as soon as I saw that though, I just thought I want this in Fortnite really badly. <laughs> <laughs> Your brain is mush, but I respect it. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. I've been working on it. Uh, but yeah, that's that's basically been my day, really. Um, oh, I watched Poor Things last night. That was incredible. Oh, I really, really loved that movie. I really thought you were going to say yeah. Paul. I was. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. I wish I'd been watching Paul last night. Uh, I thought it was a stupid art house movie, but um, <laughs> yeah, I thought it was good though. It was really. It was the. Uh, I don't know what I was expecting. It definitely wasn't what I was expecting. It was much more straightforward than I was expecting. I think because I've seen a lot of the directors' other films and they weren't very straightforward, but this one much was quite straightforward. Um, just kind of a good kind of uh, coming of age adventure film, but with like freaky. Frankenstein stuff going on and um, mm. uh, and, and other things, but yeah, no, it was really good. Uh, some of the best line deliveries I've ever seen, I think, from mostly from Mark Ruffalo, which just like absolutely going to ham um, mm. as this like yeah like mustache twirling villain character, but uh, yeah, really really good. Um, yeah. Nice. Anyway, well. in a movie. <laughs> I would be uh, meaning to watch that. I have to. I must watch that, and I also uh, really want to watch uh, Skinner Rank. 
because I missed them yeah. when I was, like out like last year. And yeah. I feel like it would be the thing that I feel like I need to watch it like very soon because I feel like that whole like uh, uh analog like linear or not linear uh or maybe it is linear. What's it called when uh people like uh uh like old pictures of like Chuck E. Cheese's because it reminds them of their childhood. They're like, oh, that's just such a crazy, uh, this image. It's like a, you know what I'm talking about? Nostalgia? <laughs> like, like, liminal space? <laughs> liminal space, that's a, uh, I think I'm very quickly going to grow, I'm already kind of growing weary of it, but, uh, I feel like within like the next couple of years, I, I will very much just like, naturally naturally scoff at anything that like has that kind of like style going on mm -hmm. and so i want to be able to watch this without my uh uh brain being tainted <laughs> yeah i kind of get that like it's becoming stale already uh yeah. mm -hmm. kind of like the uh the glasgow willy wonka thing uh, oh yeah where it's like it's a funny concept but it's already like all right guys we get it we get it like I saw someone saying that like 9 a.m. Monday morning, that's the cutoff point for it. So you yeah. can get your jokes in now, but Monday morning, no more, basically. And I think that's, I agree on that one. Hello, by the way, uh, Frederick. Uh, just on the stream. My friend, my good friend. Hello. Oh, friend, Hello. Of, friend of the show. Friend of the show. Hello. Friend of the show. Friend of the show. Let me bring it up. Um, James. Uh, I'm actually working on that as well. <laughs> What? <laughs> no, I'm not really that really <laughs> fucked up, wouldn't it? That would be a, that would be a twist, a twist and a half. Um, <laughs> well, I'll tell you the lore off stream, devil. And this is. I think I already it up on stream. I already talked about it. When we talked oh, about, have you? We talked about the image stuff, yeah. Um, oh, right, okay, yeah, we did not, didn't we? Yeah. I mean, if you want to recap Tom, real quick, you can do that. Tom backed out of, of the project because um, his ex girlfriend is the eyes on it, so. Um, he, he couldn't, he was like, he's like, I, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. Yeah. <laughs> it's too powerful, it's too, it's too, it's too, uh, too emotionally taxing, uh, yeah, fair play, to be fair. <laughs> like, it was quite difficult. Fair play, yeah. Um, <laughs> but, uh, but, um, uh, as, as a kid, he opens up a window, doesn't he, so, it's alright. That's right, yeah. But, um, yeah, I, as a bad friend, stayed on the project, because, like, you know, <laughs> <laughs> I'm dastardly like that. Well, to, to be completely <laughs> fair, I was, I was already invading a project that you and her were working on, so it wasn't exactly like we all started at the same time or something. It was like I was already yeah. like a rogue element in this scenario. It was not. <laughs> That's true, yeah. Yeah. Um, but I'm enjoying, I'm enjoying working on that still. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so. Um, that's my that's my kind of like other other thing basically. How do we get onto this again? Uh, well, you said you're working on it. And you, you don't really talk about it online too much, so like. Oh right, yeah, of course, yeah. Yeah, he's a. He's a little, this guy's Sorry, hello. Shit. <laughs> this guy's like legit. I, I, I'm writing it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to, um, I've, I've written something for, yeah, Frederick. Frederick did a really, really brilliant job with it, um, as well, so we can do more of that stuff in the future, perhaps, in a Kickstarter form. Maybe a full 1970s-themed superhero, who knows, you know? Oh, I don't know. I, I'm so excited we'll see. for that to launch, man. Uh, mm -hmm. It's gonna, it's gonna, people are gonna realise we're scamming them, but, uh, and then we're gonna be like, oh, no. It's gonna be, uh, Tales from the Quarantine. Uh, you thought that Tales from the Quarantine was a yeah, scam, exactly. but who oh, will be? Do you know about this <laughs> yeah. Tales from the Quarantine, or is this a strictly British comics thing? I haven't, no, I haven't heard that, I don't think. Oh um, boy, okay. You go for it, James, I don't even know where to fucking begin. <laughs> so basically, this was during the pandemic, it was a guy called Fraser Brown, who has like some comic book connections, but he mostly works in like, well seemingly he works in like TV and film, but like, yeah. he kind of came out of nowhere, and he was like, I'm gonna do this like, huge like project called Tales from the Quarantine. This was like right at the start of COVID where like obviously everyone had like free time and he was like yeah like every artist is going to do like, a one page story for it and we're going to like put out this like huge volume it's going to be like uh, like 200 pages or something like that it was going to be like crazy like like hundreds and hundreds of people were involved with it yeah. and then okay, big, 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 it was Charlie was... Adler and shit of The Walking Dead right they were um, a lot of people yeah yeah like um yeah tons of people um 
And then um, it came to like, I think it was like, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna launch it before the end of the year. And then like, cause they got like, they raised something like, I think it was like, was it, was it 30, 30 grand or something for it? I think it was a lot of money. And um, it was like way over their target as well. And um, the, the whole thing of it as well was it was like, once they kind of like cover the cost of like printing and production and shipping, they were gonna um, like give the money to charities that were struggling during the pandemic. And then um, they were like, yeah, we're gonna like launch it before the end of the year. And then it didn't launch. And then I think it was like 2021, it like still hadn't happened and there just like hadn't been like any updates from it. Well, it got and funded. Then, it, got, mm-hmm. it got funded, didn't it? Um... So yeah, it got it got funded like way over its um over its budget over its like goal, and then um, yeah. it was uh toward it, it was like I think this is like November twenty twenty two. A good friend of ours actually called Comic Printing UK. Um, mm-hmm. He's not like a comic creator; he just does like printing for people. But he's really good like in the in the kind of scene. Basically, he's really really nice about our stuff. Um, and so uh, like, even though we haven't actually. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, he likes us, so we like him basically. But um, no, he's a really nice guy. Um, and even though we don't print with him, we actually just print through a different company. But you know, he's, he's nice anyway. But he said like he said basically on Twitter, he was like, um, so I think this 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 uh this Kickstarter might have been like a scam. Like I don't know if anyone's like talking about this. Like I don't want to like he's like basically I think he's like his first post about it was like I don't want to cause any trouble, but like I think something's going on with this. And then everyone was like, yeah, like we didn't get paid for it. Like no money is seeming to go into the charities. This thing hasn't come out yet. There's been no updates for years. And like, you know, as of now, there's still like no evidence that this comic actually like physically exists. I think a few yeah. people received like a broken PDF file of it like last yeah, year. Yeah. Not even, I think it was even the uh, prior, wasn't it? Or... Maybe, yeah. Like it was, it was just like a mess. And like the guy has like been like, just like, oh yeah, like I had like health problems, so I couldn't do it. And like I'm definitely we're, we're shipping it at the moment, but it's like he keeps saying he's shipping it, but like there's no evidence that it actually exists in the real world. Yeah. And I think everyone's just like this guy has like scammed people for like thousands of pounds, spend that shit. And then just like hoped that no one would notice that he just didn't make the comic and like a lot of people didn't get paid for it and everything. I think that like yeah. slowly things are starting to happen with it. But again, there's no evidence that this thing actually physically exists. And um, I don't know at what point like people can like sue him for it though. I think it's like a weird situation where it's like because it's a Kickstarter. It's like, well, he never promised that he would make this thing, you know? Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, so not a good look for Kickstarter, I suppose, as well, considering this is like a very big, um, big earning project. So yeah, this is mostly in the kind of like the I think the guess like the British scene, but I think there are quite a lot of American like kind of creators involved with it as well. I know Dan Scotty had a page for it, um, uh, and uh, they shouldn't mess with him because he's he's the go. So uh, I'm, 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 I personally find that offensive, you know, above like everything, uh, everything else. else now. Believe it, yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah exactly yeah um so yeah interesting scenarios going on over in the uk comic scene that's wild we got fucking I was, uh, everything over here so go ahead <laughs> i uh, i was watching a thing about like uh there was a uh kickstarting like indiegogo campaigns for those like tumblr shows <laughs> you know what i mean like this, right. uh, it was on um, the one. It was all or nothing. The one with the where it's a pansexual and asexual as roommates, and so they were like, "We're going to make a live action sitcom <laughs> with five thousand dollars. That's all we need." <laughs> and uh, and then there was uh, Mrs. Police Officer and Troubles the Bear. It was like the same thing where it was just like. Uh, they saw like a Tumblr post. Yeah, <laughs> they're roommates. <laughs> it's a live action sitcom. But, uh, <laughs> it's the same situation where it was like a Tumblr post that was popular, and then they, uh, like, random, just like insane freaks were like, uh, I can actually uh, make a product that's based off of this. And it's like, okay, well, here's all the money. And they're like, I, I don't want to make it. <laughs> but I also will keep all the money, though. Yeah, it's the, it's the seems to be the way. Yeah, yeah. Um, we promised the <laughs> the stranger Kickstarter is not like that. We actually yeah. want to make the comic, by the way. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> that's the thing is it's just like if we did if we did fuck it up like so bad that it's like it, like, we're not, but like if like you know we actually are serious about comics, you know we we actually quite like being in the community and not being chased out of town with pitchforks if we showed up at any event. So like it's really yeah. it's really really like important to us that like everyone is on the same everyone knows like what the actual comic is and when it's coming out and shit. So yeah, absolutely yeah. yeah. But uh, yeah, this will be the the one good one. I mean, to be fair, this is our third one that we've done, so you know, I think that that shows that that definitely came out. You know, we did two that came out last year. Yeah. Um. So you know, we're uh, we're, we're committed to it. I've I've almost I've almost. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. But um, if it if it doesn't come out, you can all you can all blame Devlin. You <laughs> <laughs> can get it Yeah. Cancel him. Mm-hmm. I start trying to like communicate with the dev, the dev nation, and then with my psychic abilities, and then it stops working. No. <laughs> That'd be a fucking nightmare, wouldn't it? <laughs> That'd be not on. I've been drawing this fucking thing from memory. I don't know if this is actually what they look like or not, but um, I'm gonna assume yes because I'm because I made them up. So I uh. The vampire gorilla. No, the stranger. <laughs> oh, well, you were doing the vampire gorilla. I mean, I'll do him next. But... <laughs> Are you not drawing anything, James? Oh, you hate drawing. Sorry, my bad. Yeah, unless it's a guy getting shot with two cowboys, <laughs> then I'd love it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't know. Um... Are, there, are there any are there any suggestions? Um... Spoil, spoil the ending of the stranger real quick. Okay, so basically, at the end of the story, we all we all think the stranger is going to turn out to be some kind of humanoid creature, right? Yeah. But it turned out four goblins. Four goblins. In a suit. <laughs> four <laughs> goblins. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you think like, what's the stranger about this guy? What's up, what's up with this guy? It turns out four goblins in a costume. How do they work it? We well, that's the sequel. That's, that's, yeah, that's the sequel. Yeah, you guys write it. Yeah, we did. Yeah. Um, animatronics question mark basically. And that's then, like um, the doomsday clock to our watchman is what's with the goblins? Like, how does that work? Yeah, yeah, we don't explain it in the actual story, <laughs> it's it's implied to be explained in a sequel that maybe comes out in like 35 years' time, yeah. written by someone else who doesn't really get the concept. <laughs> when they talk to us about it, we're like, Yeah, well, you see, we wanted to keep it kind of like hidden and subtle. You know, we didn't really want to explain anything, but, uh, you know, yeah. whatever. As long as we get the check, you know, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, as long as you get that sweet, sweet case out of money, I don't give a shit. Um, yeah, so, I mean, if you, if you were watching the stream and you heard that, don't tell anybody, like, that was a secret. <laughs> it's between you and us, yeah. Yeah, exactly, yeah, keep it, keep it quiet. Um, yeah, wouldn't that be interesting? Wouldn't that be strange? That would be strange. <laughs> Is, is the gorilla, does the gorilla have a bib on, or is that is is pectoral muscles? It's uh, pectoral muscles. He's got like a cape. Oh, uh, okay, got you. Right, yeah. Okay, I mean that's that's it, really, isn't it? <laughs> um, I'm done with uh, you know, you're my like, stranger. Yeah. Uh, Hell I'm yeah, gonna write. Cool. I'm gonna like try to like hand letter like dialogue between them, but I think it's better to like add add love and just add it. Like, okay. You, you decide the dialogue. I definitely mm -hmm. should have looked up what the stranger actually fucking looks like instead of just like pretending like I know. But I think that's about right. Um, let's have a look. Yeah, that's true, so I hope that's right. <laughs> Alright, let's uh. I'll post mine in the chat for you. Um, oh my god. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, we went very different directions. <laughs> <laughs> Holy fucking shit, that's awesome. That's so hardcore, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, fuck's sake, Sal's got... well, honestly. Can you imagine, that'd be quite the twist if we just throw in Sal's murdered by a fucking gorilla in the middle of the comic. He goes that, to the zoo that's always written in the single... script. <laughs> yeah. Every, every issue has like a fun sort of like classic comic name where then Sal goes and gets killed by a fucking gorilla. <laughs> <laughs> a fucking vampire gorilla. Yeah. That's awesome. 
That's so cool. I love the stages. It's a, it's a climax of like the the overall story. He's like, I don't know, I'm not, I don't know what to do. And then all of a sudden, a gorilla comes out of the alleyway and just fucking kills me. <laughs> yeah. Well, that sells that <laughs> chestnut. Yeah. <laughs> like that's, yeah. That's weird. We're hurting the expectations of the audience. They think we're going to resolve the mystery, but actually. No, not everything yeah. is a happy ending. Not everything has a. Everything's tied up in a neat little bow. Welcome to the real world. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes a gorilla kills your main character. There's nothing to do about it. <laughs> We're telling yeah. real stories about real people. This yeah. isn't. The world outside your window. <laughs> <laughs> if you live in a gorilla, if you live in a gorilla in the vampire world, yeah, and then this is the world outside your window. Otherwise, it's complete fantasy. Yeah. <laughs> We're doing what DC and Marvel is afraid to do. Yeah. <laughs> Terrible stories. <laughs> oh, I'm not afraid of that. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, steady on, mate, honestly. How, do you, how dare you? I a fucking hate post Spider-Man. Man. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Marvel watching streams. Joe Marvel is watching streams. He's going to poach all of us to do uh, Captain Britain, but he just... Yeah. Yeah, the editor comes up, it's like, oh, oh golly, I'm looking for three boys to the camera. Oh, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> has a flower in his hand, it's like, ah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, not today. Yeah. Yeah. Mate, mate he should have fucking fought twice before green lighting. Beep, I won't say what book <laughs> I was going to mm -hmm. slander. Before he greenlit Amazing Spider Man, and I mean, like, the 60s one. <laughs> I mean, yeah. like, <laughs> okay, honestly, yeah, yeah. they fucking ruined that character the minute that he met the Fantastic Four. I think, like, he should have. Yeah. What's with this shit? Only should've got should've... good. It only got good in one more day. That's the best. That's the only one where it gets good. He was returning to his roots, and then they, uh, and they ruined it. I really like the idea exactly. of saying like I'm gonna do exactly. a Spider-Man run where he returns to his roots, and then the first issue is him like burying himself in the in the in the soil. Yeah, to his roots. That's what I said I would do. What did you guys think was gonna happen? Yeah, this has been in the making for sixty years. It's like, mate, you're writing Spider-Man, not Swamp Thing. What are you talking about? I think you haven't returned to his roots, idiot. Spider-Man story, and it's uh. It's just him in the ground God. rotting. <laughs> He's rotting you now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> exactly. All right. That was delightful. That was honestly maybe the most fun two hours I've had of my potentially my whole life. Um, <laughs> I'm getting better than me. Free talk. Yeah. I looked at my phone. I looked at the screen. <laughs> I listened to some music. I talked to my friends. Um, mm. Honestly, what more could a boy want? So I think I'm gonna go eat my kebab because that's what the boy wants. But, uh, mm -hmm. cool. Fucking delightful two hours of joy in my life, and uh, I'll never ever forget this moment. I'll never forget this. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> it's okay, don't worry, it's all good, bro. All in the work. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, yeah. Okay. Thank you for thank you for joining. Thank you for playing my game. And. Uh, <laughs> Brain injuries launches on Kickstarter March twenty second. Be there. March twenty second. Be there. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Uh, we're, we're not even at like one percent of shilling. We, we wait until it actually starts going, and then we'll. Oh my god, we won't shut the fuck up ever. It's gonna be anyway. Uh, yeah. Okay. Bye. <laughs>